guys, welcome back to the first take. I'm Ed Reese. Now, yesterday, a couple of you guys pointed out that, um, that I think it was a date, yeah, yesterday, that there was a new Netflix Luke Cage featurette that was dealing about the music, street level hero music. So, um, I don't even need really to see anything else because I'm already in, but ah, the music I'm real curious about because uh, I've been hearing a lot about who's. The people that are behind it and how it's supposed to the whole show is supposed to be like an album and the way it plays out over the 12 episodes i believe so that's basically perfect album length so let's check it out man let's see what they're going to be doing with this because even in the trailers man the music was cool we'll odb and all that shit. so let's see what they got <laughs> No, Marvel has always had his finger on the pulse of pop culture. And this right here <laughs> is just taking it even further. It's fresh, it's new, it's innovative. From a musical perspective, Ali and I look at this as we're, we're creating 13 albums. You know what I'm saying? It's 13 episodes, like 13 albums. All the episodes are named after different gangstar songs. So like this one is Soliloquy of Chaos, first one's Moment of Truth. I mean, it's all kind of influenced like that. It was really about that hip hop foundation and making sure that those drums was just like yeah. big as day. It just gives it a real solid feel. And Ooh, I think bad. people will relate to that. It creates the world for us. But one of the things I was explaining is like the speed of hip hop. It happens at the speed of thought. So mm -hmm. if you really ran into Ooh. Luke and then all of a sudden, Boom, there's gonna be a, a beat. That's all it takes. Get that, get that, whoop yes. that ass. Wow. Bring him up, come on and bring the ruckus. And now Pabot Brothers to kick buckets and he kicks somebody across the Oh, that scene's gonna you know be even better than it was in the yeah, trailer. that right there, that's dope. We have music oh. that is inspired by Tribe Called Quest, but at the same time, inspired by Wu and Enya Morricone. And we all came together and said that we wanted to make something great. Not just for black people or minorities, just something great that just happens to be based on our culture. After all, Brothers like me been waiting for it since I was eight years old. And now it's here and I'm, I'm ecstatic. It was one of those things where I was like, yo, we have a chance to make history here. See, this is perfect, Adrian Young. That that bit of music there, you ain't heard this shit before. That's the sort of shit he makes, like old school soul music. But then you got the dude from Tribal Quest up in there, bringing those two influences together. The old school music, all the original shit that Adrian Young's gonna do, plus with like the compilation of old shit. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful, man. That's gonna be its own experience. On this, I just ugh, I can't wait. It isn't even that long, man. I actually kind of forgot how soon it's coming, man. Just September. You ain't got that long to wait. <sighs> it's gonna be one head of a soundtrack as well, man. Nostalgic shit with the new shit, but it's all gonna have that beautiful vibe. And I like the fact that they're thinking about it from the drums up, because that truly is what gives it that sound. The whole thing's still based in like in New York, in Harlem, so it's gonna have that sort of boom bap. 90s hip hop sound to it, man. Those dirty drums. Yeah, I love that shit. I don't know, I make. Mean, uh, I don't. Know. Some people I'm kind of like overreacting, but I just love that old school sound, man. That's the, that's when I got into that shit. That's when I got into the old school hip hop, man. Or what's old school for me? Obviously, there's older school than that, but that's for the generation that was making the music at that time. Now I consider old school. You know, it kind of leapfrogs to the next. So for me, that was the old school, man. The Wu Tang, the Tribal Quest. Wow, all of that fucking good shit. All that beautiful shit. Benita Apple Bomb. I hope that fucking makes an appearance up in there somewhere. But that scene, though, where um, that we saw in the trailer of Luke Cage's going in to the tenement, just busting the shit out of them dudes that are just blazing at him, and he's got the car door. You know, it was nice in the trailer to the old EP. But seeing that they had it there, where they're gonna have it to um, bring the motherfucking rockers, the Wu Tang joint. Ooh, it actually makes it even more arms house. Like it's a straight up murkage going on in that scene with bring the motherfucking rockers. That just makes it even more hype and hectic. I even love the fact that Meth was excited seeing that scene with that music. The fact that this guy's heard this song 
thousands upon thousands, hundreds of thousands of times. Because he's touring it, you know, he's part of Wu Tang, he's touring that shit, he's performing that shit on stage, he's heard it a million times. But for him to still hear it in the context of that scene and to still get excited and to be like, yeah, and just rap along with it and not be sick of it, it says it all, man. It says that it emotionally it strikes that perfect note. Mm. Yeah, and I'm also looking forward to the original tracks. Like, I think we heard a little bit of the one at the end there, Adrian Young shit. Because that's his sound, man. So it's definitely his heavy influence or him guiding that. Not that what's his face ain't going to be doing, have a hand in that, but you just kind of know his sound. If you know Adrian Young, that's his shit, man. So uh, just the balance of those two, oh, cannot wait. It's almost as, I'm almost looking forward to hearing that, all the music, as much as I am to the show itself. Yeah, it's gonna be big, man. So, about you guys looking forward to it? Oh, let me know, let me know. Right, comments down below. If you like the video, if you like the video, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I am in a race, and this has been my first take two. Luke K, Street Level Hero Music, September 30th.